Hi guys. So let's see how we can solve this particular question. The position of the particle moving along the x-axis is given by the equation x is equals to 10t squared minus 5t, where x is in centimeters and t is in seconds. So we're requesting or requested to find the initial velocity. We are also requested to find the maximum distance the body moves to the left of the origin. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how we can do this. So for this particular question, we have been given an expression for position or displacement, which is given by x is equals to 10t squared minus 5t. Now, before we go into solving this question, there's just something I need to show you. What we have been given is an expression for position. So you need to know that position or displacement, we use x, of course, then here we can have v for velocity, here we can have a for acceleration. So if we want to get an expression of velocity, if you have been given a displacement or position, we have to differentiate. Then if we want to get acceleration from velocity, we have to differentiate. And the reverse is simply integration, like this. So looking at what we have been given, we have been given an expression for position or displacement the question is requiring us question a is requiring us to find the initial velocity meaning that since we have been given x we have to differentiate our function to find the velocity so v will be equals to the derivative of x so let's differentiate this function v in other words is given by dx dt dx dt being the derivative of this function that we have here. So the derivative of this function will be 2 times 10, that will be 20, t minus 1 times 5, that will be 5. So this is basically just um, a simple differentiation. Hence, velocity, the function for velocity becomes 20 t minus 5. This is question A, by the way. So an expression for velocity is 20t minus 5. Now, uh, since we're looking for the initial velocity, we're going to say, since it's the initial velocity, since it's the initial velocity, initial velocity, we shall consider time, we shall consider time to be t to be equal to zero seconds. Why zero seconds? Because it's the initial um, velocity. So if that's the case, our function of velocity that we have here, where there's t, we'll just substitute it with a zero. So what do we get? 20 multiplied by zero minus five, has velocity is equal to negative five, like that. Okay, so now that we have the, the expression for velocity, so we can just say this is uh, in, in centimeters per second. So the reason why it's a negative is because this object was going to the left, in the leftward direction. That's why the velocity is negative. Let's consider the next question, um, which is saying find the maximum distance the body moves to the left of the origin. Okay. So for this part of the question, it's important to note that the maximum distance will take place on one condition, on a condition that the velocity is zero. So velocity v must be equal to zero. This is for the maximum distance. For maximum distance, velocity must be zero. And we can consider this to be the initial velocity maximum distance okay so if that's the case we have to find um, the value of time now the equation we're going to be using is this one here the equation for velocity so i'm going to say velocity is equals to 20 t minus 5. so here where there's velocity since we said that velocity must be zero for maximum distance then we're going to say zero which is equals to 20 t minus 5. So to find the value of t, we're going to say uh, 20t to be equals to 5. 
So the value of time will seem to be equal to 0 0.25 seconds. So now that we have found the value of time to be 0 0.25 seconds, to find the maximum distance, we're going to go back to the original question or the original expression for uh, position, which was x is equals to 10t squared minus 5t. The same function that we had um, earlier differentiated, this one that we have here. So now the next thing we're going to do is, where there's t, we're just going to substitute it with this term that we have found here. So that position will be equal to 10. Here where there's t, we'll substitute it with uh, 0 0.25 squared minus 5. Again, where there's t, we shall put 0 0.25, like that. And computing all this, what we're getting is simply a negative 0 0.625 or as a fraction, this is simply negative five over eight centimeters. Now we know that distance cannot be negative because distance is, um, is a scalar. So what does a negative mean? The negative simply means that uh, the maximum distance to the left is the same negative five over eight. So the negative sign is just indicating the direction in which it was taken. So you can consider it that way by stating to say to the left hand side of the origin or you can further uh, just introduce uh, the modulus of this particular um, displacement or distance rather then you get a positive 5 over 8. So you can just say the, the maximum distance you can conclude by saying maximum distance is 5 over 8 centimeters to the origin to the left to the left of the origin just like that so we have calculated the two uh, variables what we are looking for thank you very much